There is no hope of reaching Les Invalides by the moat. I shall have to go round it through the Faubourg Saint-Germain. According to Monsieur de Robespierre, his men have cleared a path for me. Monsieur de Robespierre's men, they perished in the line of duty.
Nicholas. You must carry on, I beg you. I'll never make it. I'm out of breath. Oh, I'm more dead, Gina. Suzanne, just a bit more. We're almost there. ravaged the church and slaughtered the faithful.
get back. He's going to be all right. This machine is alone and the door is barricaded. He won't hold. Did you see how easily those demons entered the church? Don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. Oh, Senor. He can speak. What? What do you want with us, Automat? What happened in this church? You should know. It was your kind that slaughtered these lambs. I don't think those who were able to escape stand much of a chance either. Where are the survivors? They're hiding in the catacombs behind the church. There's also the gentleman that the automats took alive. Where did they take the gentleman? We haven't the slightest idea. That's enough questions now. Leave us be, Verdu. Getting closer to Les Envolies. Here, we should be able to cross the moat easily.
debt was no longer sustainable, Your Majesty. Your mechanical revolution has changed the face of the kingdom, but the coffers are woefully empty. The debt, Monsieur Necker. This debt that you and your banking friends helped to create for your own benefit, and which is now forcing us to levy new taxes? Will my subjects be able to bear another tax? Yes, Your Majesty. As long as it is distributed fairly, the representatives of the nobility, the clergy, and the Third Estate must come to an agreement. That is why we have convened the Estates General. Tomorrow you are to preside over the opening ceremonies. Oh, your Estates General. Nothing good can come of it. You have roused the spirit of rebellion. All I hear about are their damned Cahiers de Doléances. My rightful enjoyment is being challenged. The streets of Versailles are teeming with loudmouth fanatics with sacrilegious thoughts. Tell me, Monsieur le Ministre, have you purposely set this army of the unwashed against me? Your Majesty, I have always been your most faithful servant. Beware, Necker. Beware. I have a surprise in store for anyone who dares attack my throne. Dear Suzanne, take my hand, please. Don't let them take me away. No. No, oh, no, this, this has to stop. I don't want to be tormented anymore. That is not my intention. I have come to rescue you. Rescue me? But what on earth are you? It is of no importance. What did you see and hear before you regained consciousness? I had frightful visions, rageful wraiths filled with pain and sorrow. 
and it was cold enough to curdle the blood. Oh, it's impossible to describe. All the rage and anger. I was in another body, I think. So big, so powerful. And there was this commanding voice ordering me to spread terror and death. Did I really hear it? Or did I momentarily lose my mind? Who are you, monsieur? Don't you know? I'm Jacques Necker, Ministre des Finances. Well, I was before I was captured. But this situation suggests that the king has decided to dismiss me from his service. What does he accuse you of? My alleged connivance with the Third Estate, no doubt. And, most of all, for having been the first to ask to convene the Estates General. How and when were you captured? When the machines attacked, my wife and I fled our home to hide not far from there, in the Église Sainte Marie. But we didn't stand a chance against the machines. They overran the nave, wantonly mowing down the faithful. My wife, my poor wife, she wasn't able to escape. I'm sadly convinced of this. As for me, my life was spared only so I could be tormented. What is the meaning of all this? What will you do now? There is no future for me in this kingdom. I need to find a safe place where I can prepare for my departure as soon as possible. Go to the Cordelier convent. You will be safe there. No survivors. A la bonne heure, she's back. Aegis, what a joy and relief to see you again. Monsieur. Welcome to our stronghold. I'm sure that everyone here is aware of the great debt we all owe you. As you can see, the most exhausted among us are growing stronger. While the most determined are already planning our counterattack. I did not expect to see you all together. Four days ago, 
the representatives of the Third Estate gathered in a tennis court. They swore not to separate until they had established a constitution for the nation. But that was not the only oath we swore. All the honorable men who were at Versailles, representatives and patriots, members of the Club Breton, secretly swore to meet here if they were dispersed. You, Aegis, have allowed them to gather once again. Though unfortunately many are missing, we still have hope. Why did you choose to meet in this convent? It was my idea. Voyez-vous, I stay here whenever my obligations bring me to Paris. No other retreat inspires such peace and contemplation. Et puis, truth be told, this building has always felt like a fortress to me. Just look at how thick these walls are. For two whole days, the Patriots in the quarter consolidated the outer walls to make it an impenetrable citadel. No automat has broken through our defenses yet. Where are the monks, mon père? They are secluded in their quarters, praying for the salvation of the people of Paris. However, we bear no illusions. We are weak, we are divided, and we are unarmed. Without you, without your warrior strength, we have no chance of turning things around. You are sent by heaven above, Aegis. From now on, you may consider the Cordelia Convent your headquarters and a welcome refuge. We must speak, you and I, in private, if you please. Monsieur de Lafayette must not hear a word of what I'm about to tell you. What do you mean? You all seem to be certain that I will use my strengths to serve your cause. Are you forgetting that I have a task to accomplish? Not at all, madame. We all know and support your plan to free Monsieur de Vaucanson. That is why I've taken the time to think of a way for you to get to the Bastille. I am listening. There is a patriot in Paris whose pamphlets have aroused Monsieur de Lafayette's ire. His anger is so strong that the poor man had to disappear to escape arrest. I know that he is secretly hiding in the quarries in Montmartre. A labyrinth he is said to know like the back of his hand. If anyone can help you navigate the obstacles that keep you from the Bastille, it is the elusive Monsieur Marat. Very well. I will go and find him. Aegis, a word, Sibyl Play. Aegis, wait just a moment. Should we...